So how do you evolve robots? It's a very simple process. Each uh, robot has a genetic string made of zeros and ones that rep represents the genome of the, of the robot. And this genome encodes a neuronal network that produces behavior of this robot. Now, mutation of the genomes correspond to different neuronal networks and different behaviors. Those that have better quality or better performance have a higher probability of making copies of their genomes with added mutations and recombination. Now, you repeat this process for multiple generations, and after many generations, in the case of these experiments, 500 generations, you typically observe the evolution of altruistic operation in these robots. There is an hypothesis that has been put forward in 1964 by a biologist, which uh, describes in mathematical form the genetic uh, conditions under which an individual is ready to cooperate with another individual. So, in order to study, to verify this formula, we teamed up with uh, Laurent Keller, a colleague of mine at the University of Lausanne, an evolutionary biologist, and uh, we decided to use small robots to test uh, the different uh, rates of genetic relatedness in a population of robots and the different uh, costs and benefits that these robots can actually get uh, by cooperating together to push small objects to a nest. The conclusion of this experiment is that the uh, Hamilton's rule that explains the conditions for the evolution of altruistic uh, cooperation not only holds in nature for all the different conditions that he predicted, but it also holds in uh, man-made artifacts like small robots. And from an engineering point of view, it gives us an advantage now because we have now an algorithm that we can apply whenever we want to develop the control system for robots that are expected to cooperate uh, together.